No Film School's coverage of NAB 2017 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Vimeo, the new home for 360 video. Learn more at vimeo.com slash 360. My Road Reel, presented by Road Microphones. Back with more categories, more chances to win, and over $500,000 worth of prizes. Hey, how's it going? I'm Michael with No Film School. We are here with Alex from Canon, and we're checking out the log on the 5D Mark IV, which is a pretty exciting update, which adds a lot more latitude to this camera. Um, as you can see here, we are currently uh, exposing for this area of the frame, and Alex is just going to show us what it looks like when he just doesn't touch the settings at all, but just switches from neutral profile to the new log. So, setting it up, um we're in neutral profile, as you said. Um, right now, this is really the big issue with DSLR cameras is the highlight roll off. You're seeing here, we've kind of set the exposure to get some detail in the shadows. This is a professionally lit set, and then people standing in front of the cameras down here that aren't being lit. So it's a good way to see the dynamic range of the camera. So we're at 50 on the shutter, F4 on the lens, and 3200 on the ISO. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch it over to log now, which is very easy to do in the menu. And here's what we're gonna get now with the log. So much better highlight roll off, much better detail in the blacks. Uh, it's really holding that color nicely, uh, gives you a much better signal to grade. And to me, what you'd use this for is just, you could keep the highlights where they are and crunch those blacks down. And now you've got the freedom to kind of pick and choose. I don't know how much of it you can see through filming the screen on the, on the, on the camera we're shooting with now, but in person here, seeing the difference between the neutral profile and the new log is like night and day. Absolutely. I think that's always been the challenge, especially people who use the DSLR tend to not set up a lot of lighting. They're, they're running and gunning. Um, and that's really what you're trying to control. You go into these, you know, trade show floors and things where you want something that can be a little bit, look a little bit nicer. You need something that's going to help control the highlights and, and bring those shadows up because not only are the highlights rolling off and here I'll switch it back too. The, the shadows really get very crunchy and, 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 and over, you know, to me, oversaturated in a lot of ways. So this is what we were dealing with before. In a lot of ways, you'd probably stop down here. So then as I stop down to kind of make this more appealing, we lose all of our detail in those shadows. So again, let me pop it back on. And now you've got a much, much better signal in the shadows. And then I could even open up the lens a little bit, letting in a little more light here, you know, depending on how you want to expose or where you want the subjects, uh, the, 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 walk, the person watching's eyes to go to. Um, that's when you determine your exposure. But a lot of the times, these cameras can't be used in a cinema workflow because there is no log. But now they're a really great B and C camera option to match a cinema product. So how, how do people get their hands on this? So it won't be a, a user-generated okay. thing. You, you can't download the firmware. You'll have to send it into a service center. It's going to be a $100 fee. Um, but we're also going to be selling the camera with the log applied uh, to it with that price included. And then you'll also, if you're a still photographer and you don't want the log, you can still buy it at the, at the price that uh, without it. Right on. Well, that's the new Canon log in the 5D Mark IV here at NAB 2017. Stay tuned. All right, and something that's only available in the uh, Canon 5D Mark IV is the autofocus. Um, can you show me the functionality of that? Absolutely. We have the functionality in some of our other cameras, but the dual pixel AF in this camera actually shows, uh, it makes it very easy to do rack focusing. Now it, I just have this box. I can kind of pull focus to whatever I want. So let's say I wanted to stay on the, the woman in the tailor set. If I push the set button, I can lock it. So right now, it's it's disen it's not engaged, so I can literally pull wherever I want. But let's say I want to pull right to this gentleman in the foreground. I can re-hit re the button, and look at that, perfect rack focusing. Again, I'm going to do it again. I'll lock it on him, and let's say I'll just tilt up a little bit and pull to her. And let's say, you know, okay, I'm ready. One button push, very organic, very smooth rack focusing, and I can control the speed on that.